Hello, in this tutorial I will show you how to create animations without any keyframe. So let's start. Let's go to Charter, C Motion. Turn on C Motion. Let's create a cube. Select the cube and drag it inside C Motion. Select the cube. Go to Action and select parameter and hit add. Select the parameter and now you can select any parameter inside the cube. Let's select the rotation. Select uh, X. Now I want this cube to rotate 360 degrees. Let's type it. And now this spline represents the 360, where this number is here, in the middle is 0, and here is minus 360. If I move this down and hit play, I have an animation. If you want to control this, you can click in the arrow and now you have parameters for every point that the spline has. If you control click in the spline, you will create a point with new parameters. Control click again and you have new parameters. Let's hit play to see the animation. How can I tell Cinema when to stop the animation? That's easy. You need to go to Time. Which is right here. Right now it has 24 frames. If I change this to 48 frames, for example, I'm telling Cinema that the animation to have a duration of 48 frames and then start again. Let's change it. Let's change the size. Hit play or make it a little bigger just so you can see it. Hit play and we have another animation using 48 frames. Now let's change this. Let's right click inside the spline and we can select a preset spline and hit play to see what animation do we have now. Let's select the linear. Now we have different animation. Everything without any single keyframe. Let's change to scale, for example. The scale inside the cube is in the coordinate. And the size that we use recently is in the object. There are different parameters. If we change it, Play. Let's change the channel so you can see the animation. Now we have another animation. Delete the cube. Create a sphere. Let's make a new example. Put the sphere inside this emotion. Add a parameter action. 
select the parameter and choose let's change position in y i'm going to type uh, Two hundred June, and now I can move two hundred units in Y. We can also add more than one parameter. So let's select the sphere again, click Add, and select a new parameter like the rotation. Select the rotation. Uh, from 0 to 100 and hit play and we have a rotation we can also tell cinema that we want the rotation to start in the middle of the animation hit play and we have the rotation starting in the middle now let's change this parameter to a position the same as the first one just to show you another option. Now, we have two parameters with 200 units. If you hit play, you will see that the animation is only 200 units, even though we have two parameters with 200. And that's because of the blend. To change this, we need to change the blend in the second parameter from absolute to add. And now we have 400 units, which is the first one plus the second one. We can also subtract the units. Let's hit play. Let's change the first point to zero using the parameters here. And now it's not moving because we are subtracting 200 units. We can also multiply by changing the blend mode. And we have a huge unit. As you can see, it's moving way in Y axis. Now, these are the basics for Simotion. And now I'm going to show you some examples using Simotion. They are very simple. Let's start with a camera. I have some motion, I have the camera, and I'm animating the sensor sphere. If I hit play, you can see that the sensor is moving up. Next example are effectors. Let's start with a plane effector. Let's hit play. I have the effector inside the motion, and we have an animation without any keyframe using an effector. Let's move to the next example. I have the motion, a random effector, and a cloner. Let's move a little bit. We have three different animations, which are the positions inside the random effector. And hit play to see what kind of animation do we have. And we have this animation of the cubes inside the clone.
next are generators. The first one is a sweep. I put the sweep inside same motion. And if I hit play using the sweep, you see we have this animation using only the spline in motion. Next one is extrude that has an animation in Y movement from zero to 100, which is 200 units. The last examples are some deformers. First one is twist. I have the twist inside in motion and I animated the angle. Let's hit play and we have this animation. And finally, I have a melt deformer inside this in motion and we are animating the strength of this melt. Now, if you want to use a material with in motion and try to drag it inside, you will see that you can do that. Now, how can we animate the colors inside a material? Let's first drag this material inside the sphere so you can see the colors. And now, go to the sphere. User data. Add user data. And create a user data float slider. And change the name to R. Hold control, drag down to create a copy and name it G. Control again and drag down or command in the Mac and call it B. Now we have three new parameters. It's OK. Now, right click on the sphere. Cinema 4D Tax Expresso. Drag the sphere inside the Expresso. And drag the material inside the Expresso too. Click in the red corner of this sphere inside Expresso. Go to user data. Select the new parameters that we recently create. R, G, and finally the V. Let's link these three parameters with the material. We are going to use the color channel. Go to color and select color R. Link the G in color with color G and finally the V in color with color V now that we have these controls we can use the material so let's go to this motion drag the sphere inside add a parameter And now, if you select the parameter, you will see that you have these new sliders inside the options. So now you can animate the colors using this simple Expresso rig. Let's add the R, G, and B. I will put some random values so you can see 
how does this works just put this you can put any value that you want you can change this one and finally we can change this right here and here uh, And now we can hit play and see the animation. Now let's see this here to see the colors and hit play. And now we have the colors changing. And that's because we are using the new controllers inside this here to control the colors inside the material. Now that you have these tips. You can play with all the parameters inside the motion and create your own animations.